Lord God, you have commanded us to have no other gods. Keep us faithful to you alone. Dethrone the idols in our life and give us the grace to honor, love, and trust you above all things. Gracious one, your name is holy. Stop us from using it in unholy ways. Let the name that you put on us in baptism keep us holy. And may we always trust in the holy name of Jesus and use his name in prayer and praise. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Loving Creator, you created six days in which to work, and the seventh you made a day of rest. Grant that we may use the Lord's day for rest and hearing your word. Holy Lord, in your goodness you have given us fathers and mothers whom you want to honor. Grant that by the help of your Spirit all Christian parents may bring their children up to honor and love you. Lord of life, you have created the world and you give life to all people. Grant that by your grace all may respect the sanctity of life. Let us do nothing to hurt or harm our neighbor in any way, but rather to be of help, especially in times of need. Merciful God, you have established the state of marriage and continue to bless it. Bless all who are married Enable them to remain faithful to their vows and to be patient and forgiving with each other. Almighty God, you are the giver and preserver of all good things. Help us to value honest work as your gift and the means by which you bless our country. Give us joy as we serve others with unselfish hearts. Lord God, in Jesus Christ you have shown yourself to be for us and not against us. Help us to be loyal to our neighbors and do nothing to damage their reputation. Show us the log in our own eye when we find a speck in their eye. Make us more ready to forgive than to judge and always view the actions of others in the most favorable light. Gracious giver, you are the owner and giver of all things. Enable us to be good stewards of all your gifts, content with what you have given us, and eager to advance the cause of others, even if it is to our disadvantage. Give us a generous heart and joy in serving our neighbor. Amen. This is the Lord's table, and Christ invites us to share his meal. Christ recognizes you and looks upon you with favor. Christ befriends you and wants you within his circle. Count yourself among Christ's disciples by partaking in this feast of fellowship. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and he broke it and said, this is my body. Take and eat. He also offered the cup, saying, This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Now we do this in remembrance of him.
God of love, just as 2,000 years ago in that upper room, Jesus blessed these symbols of his broken body and shed blood before sharing them with his closest friends. So we ask you to bless them today before we partake. May we be reminded that these elements represent the spiritual nourishment that has helped the disciples of Christ follow his way and live according to your commandments throughout the ages. We pray in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Go forth with the Lord at your side, seeking goodness and compassion, bringing the words of hope and peace to all whom you meet. Go in peace. Amen.